everyone! In this video, I'm going to share with you yung bong travel namin sa City Hall. I am also going to share with you where did we stay, eat, at saka yung mga lugar na napuntahan namin. We ride in these fast crafts which travels around 2 hours and we paid 455 pesos. Sa regular na barko o kaya yung Roro, it only cost 235 pesos. It was a very nice experience riding in this fast craft, which is Montenegro Lines, kasi bago pa siya. Tsaka pagdating namin sa loob, para siyang iroplano. When we arrived in Sikihor, the first thing we did was, we rented a motorcycle from PLS Motorbike Rental, which cost 350 pesos yung scooter nila. At yung rental na motorcycle is already good for 24 hours, and then you just have to gas it up with around 200 pesos. Ay, talagang okay na. So, coming here, we booked through Agoda here at the City Hall Sunset Glamping Village. Kasama na yung two adults, two children with free breakfast. We chose this place because you can do a lot of fun activities like frisbee, badminton, volleyball, and then they also have a playground for children which has a seesaw, trampoline, slides, and then they can also play under the white sand beach. And since it's weekend, meron din silang banda during the night. So guys, Hi. nandito na tayo. This Hi. is our room accommodation. I mean the glumping accommodation. We got these two beds, which is good for four. Tumating kami dito ng hapon, kaya we have this food as our dinner. And this is our breakfast meal. I took the cereal and the kids also get some egg, breakfast, um, corned beef, hot dog, and tocino. So lunch naman, we have this pizza, lumi, pita, caesar salad, and iced tea. So big thumbs up for this place. We really love everything. We love the food, the music every Friday and Saturday. We also love the a uh, white fine sand beach and look at those tents there it is where we stay and then the place is very relaxing and they have kids playground you can do a lot of fun activities uh, during weekend they have this band that plays your favorite music In the morning, we rise up early and went to Lugnason Waterfalls, which is just around 15 to 20 minutes drive from the Sunset Plumping Village where we stayed. At pagdating nyo dito, you just have to pay 20 pesos as an environmental fee. And I would say na it's very safe to come here kasi merong mga locals na talagang taga dito who will guide you going to the waterfall. Maliban dyan, they are also very friendly and accommodating. We are here in the Lognasin Falls. Um, very cold, very beautiful, very deep, and the water is blue. And there's even a place here where you can drink clean, fresh water. Aside from Lugnason Waterfalls, we also have this Kapilay Spring which we're going to discover and this is just around 5 minutes walk from the waterfalls. Guys, it's really amazing. Look at this place. They have this fresh water from the spring and the people here just get their drinking water from this source and some also have their um, laundry on the other side. <laughs> so guys, the water here is very clean, so it's like clean enough to drink. Many people come here to wash clothes but don't worry because all that water goes somewhere else. After we went to Lugnason Waterfalls and Kapilay Spring, we also visited Bugwas here in San Juan and you know what guys, this is just located right in front of 
their municipal building. At talagang nakaka-ingit siya at sana meron kami dito sa aming bayan. Kaya lang wala kami. And uh, the children here at the park really love to swim. Anytime they can swim, especially when the weather is very hot and they can have picnic under those trees and that side. And look at that one. It's so big. Uh, nanggaling talaga sa lupa yung tubig niya. And it's also very clean. They really protect the place. So, meron din mga isda dito. Kaya lang hindi pwedeng mag-fishing. Hindi siya pwedeng kunin. And if you want to swim or have some picnic in this place, um, it's just for free. You don't have to pay anything. You just have to throw properly your garbage. After swimming in the Bugwas, we immediately proceeded to the century-old Baleti Tree and Fish Pa in La Zigizikihor. This is around 15 to 20 minutes drive using our motorcycle with an entrance fee of 20 pesos you can already enjoy in as much as you can and experience the fish pa under the baleti tree during the time that we went here medyo maraming tao kasi weekend pero okay lang we're not going to stay here for so long naman because we're still going to visit kambugahay waterfalls This time naman, we're going to travel around 10 to 15 minutes because we're going to go to Kambugahay Waterfalls. This is just located also in Lazi. We're finally here and again, we're going to pay an environmental fee of 20 pesos. So, dito sa Sikihor, kadalasang mga tourist spots ay talagang mura. You just have to pay 20 pesos. We can already enjoy the whole place. And after paying, we just have to go down around 135 steps. We just have to be careful because it's very slippery and it's also very steep. So now, I welcome you all to Kambugahay Waterfalls here in Lazi, Sikihor. So yun na po ang buong travel namin dito sa Sikihor. Sana naman ay nakatulong tong video sa mga may planong pumunta dito. And it's very solid. Hindi ka talaga magsisising pumunta dito because uh, there are a lot of uh, tourist spots which are very affordable. And aside from that, you can also do a lot of adventures with nature. If you are tired of the city life, you must try an island life also here in the island of City. Have nothing to worry here because the place is very safe. The people is very friendly, accommodating, and welcoming. So pag uwi namin, nag-roro uh, na kami o kaya nag bars and we paid 235 pesos. Sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, please support my family's YouTube channel by clicking the red button down below. Thanks for watching. Bye! See you on our next vlog.